Hi, this is Brian Armstrong with Delight Analytics, and today I want to show you in Tableau a different way of looking at time data. So for today's demonstration, I've downloaded a sample workbook from the Tableau website. It's the real estate uh, information from Seattle. And you're familiar with the line charts that we normally use when we're looking at date uh, and time data. We're going to look at things a little bit differently here. Instead of that line chart, we're going to break things out by month against year. So let me get those up here. And this is our month showing discrete and our year showing discrete. And we're going to look and see if there's a month that is better or worse to sell our house in Seattle. So I'm going to take median price and I'm going to put that up here on color. And we can see how the sales price has increased over time. So what we're going to change that. We're going to show it relative to the beginning of each year, relative to January of each year. So let's do a, uh, a percent difference. And then we're going to do a percent difference relative to first. Okay, and now uh, let me put a, uh, put a halo on here so it's easier to see. Well, now you can see that, especially in 2005, August through December was certainly the best year or the best months of the year to sell your house. And generally speaking, they've gone up as the year has gone by, with the exception of 2008, which has gone down. And then if we want to see the numbers, which normally you wouldn't do this, but we can put this on here just to see what's going on. And we'll set this back to square. So now you can see how we start out at 0% in January. And then generally speaking, things have, uh, let's see, fallen in February. And then they've kind of gone up, uh, gone up since then. So this is a great way to, uh, to see some trends that you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't normally have seen. So hopefully what I've shown you today is that you don't have to rely on the old line chart just to show your time and date data. Breaking that up by month and by year, putting those times against each other, even by hour and by day of the week, uh, you can see some really interesting patterns that wouldn't normally appear if you were looking at things in a line graph. 